How's everybody doing tonight? I, uh, I, I, I bought a new shirt for this, so I thought it looked cool. My friend backstage was like, you look like the guy who sold Elvis his pills. <laughs> Which I didn't think was nice. Uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm a bad driver. I've uh, gotten pulled over five times, but I've never gotten a ticket, which is cool if you're a hot chick or a famous person. But that means that every time a cop's pulled me over, he's looked into the window and gone, you know, he really doesn't need this right now. Uh, I'm not gonna give him a ticket, but I'm gonna give him a soup and a winter coat, so. But I was driving on the 101 and I, I cut somebody off. I'm not proud of it. That person started tailgating me. I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Person goes in the left-hand lane, falls right next to my car. I'm like, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, don't look over, I'm gonna die, don't look over, I'm gonna die, don't look over. I look over and it's a woman in her late 40s giving me the double bird <laughs> while she makes her 11-year-old daughter hold the wheel. And <laughs> I, I was so upset because I've never been that close with my mom, you know? Like, <laughs> we can't agree on a movie, let alone perform a hate crime together. <laughs> Speaking of moms, I, uh, I voted for Hillary, uh, even though my goatee is campaigning for Kid Rock. I, I voted for Hillary. Everybody, all the Trump supporters, everybody voted for Trump. They always, they're like, like, oh, oh, he's got no filter. He says what he means, he's got no filter. But what if he does have a filter and this has just been the shit <laughs> he thinks is safe to say? How scary would that be? <laughs> he's with all his advisors, he's with all his advisors and he's like, oh, Mexicans are rapists and Puerto Ricans can see in the dark. And they're like, all right, we'll go with the first one. Uh, <laughs> can't have people thinking the president thinks Puerto Ricans are X-Men, so. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a dumb liberal. I know a lot of dumb conservatives. I'm a dumb liberal. Like, if I met somebody and, they're all, and they were like, I don't believe in global warming, I'd be like, you're an idiot. And they'd be like, all right, explain it to me. And I'm like, well, <sighs> uh, the, uh, the gases are released and CO2, and it causes the, uh, the, the polar ice caps to melt and increases uh, the seas, and then one of the seas hits New York City and takes out the Statue of Liberty, and then there's a snowstorm, and wolves are released, and the wolves chase Jake Gyllenhaal and the girl from Shameless. That's just the plot of Day After Tomorrow, and I yell, feel the burn, and I throw a dream catcher, and I run away. Thank you. I even though I'm like uh, even though I'm liberal, I like country music. But uh, sometimes country music—I mean, you could tell—sometimes uh, <laughs> country music gets you to sing along with stuff you're morally opposed to. You're like, woke up this morning feeling fine. You're like, all right, gonna climb me a mountain. You're like, all right, as long as those blacks use a different water fountain. Was like, what the hell was that? That guy just rhymed me into being racist. And then, and then every other country song is the guy singing about what happened to him at the present time that he wrote that song. He's like, woke up this morning, put on my shoes, put on my pants, which is hard because my shoes are already on. <laughs> I sat in a chair, because that's where you sit. I drink water, I drink it through my mouth, I breathe through my nose, because there's water in my mouth. God bless the troops. Like, God damn you for bringing the troops into this, because you don't know how to prop use a metaphor, you hickory smoke piece of shit. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sober, I'm a timer at a 12-step group, which is a really weird job. That means I have to cut people off if they go over time, you know? <laughs> so somebody's like, so there I was in the Jersey State Turnpike selling my last toe for heroin and end time. Uh, <laughs> come back next week, we'll find out what happened to the fingers. So I uh, used to have a cocaine problem. I couldn't afford it. Boom, ruined my life. Uh, really was not good for my life. Uh, 
But cocaine used to be legal. Early 1900s, late 1800s, you could go to a doctor and get cocaine prescribed to you. How did that even work? We're like, hey, doc, I got a bad case of the heebie-jeebies from all these goosey flappers. Is that why everybody talked like that back then? Was everyone just on cocaine? Where it's like, one for you, two for she, and eight ball for me, and many more. All right, thank you guys. Have a good night. Thank you. So that was hilarious, man. man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. joking about helmets. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic, the whole thing. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Dan St. Germain.